Hello and welcome to another video tutorial with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're going to build aspen trees. And this is what they look like when we are ready. As you might see in this footage, this is the Euro-Asian aspen uh, and not the American aspen. They differ a bit in look. Uh, there will be a tutorial coming up also on the American aspen. Aspen is a very common tree type and you can see in the green areas here on the spinning globe that it grows from Europe out in Asia all the way to Alaska. Another good thing with the Aspen is that it's uh, kind of easy to make as a miniature. So if you're new to tree model tree making it's a good starting point. Aspen grows in groups. That's because they're sharing some kind of bacteria or something in the ground, which they need to survive. So we will be building a few of the group trees. They are a bit more tiny with a more sparsely placed branches. Uh, but we will also make a, a, like a parade aspen, a beautiful tree which, which has all of the branches and, and round and nice looking. So let's get to it. The trunk and the branches will be made from steel wire. I'm using a 064mm steel wire and I cut four of them. I see in many videos that people are using a lot of wires like 10, 20 wires. That makes it very hard to twist and there is really no need to do that. Four wires is all you need at all situations for HO scale. I always have a printout of the trunk and branches or in the phone like this while I'm making a tree. Now we're twisting the lower part of the trunk which has no branches. For the first branch I cut a 15 cm long steel wire. I bend it and then I insert it and twist the steel wires together so that the branch gets two wires and the trunk still has its four. Then I continue in the same manner for each branch I take a new piece of steel wire bend it and add it to the trunk. On two third I make a single wire branch leaving now only three wires for the trunk. I make the same just below the top so I leave only two wires for the top. Then I add another bent wire so the top segments gets each two wires. In some places you can see oh I should have had a few more branches here and that's a good idea so just twist in a few single wire branches where you see that the spacing has become a bit too wide. Keep adding in single wires until you feel happy with your result. I can say by a rule of a thumb that it's better to have more branches than too few. Now with all the branches in place and the tree still totally flat as I have it here, it's time to cut the branches so they get the same kind of contour as you see in the in the photo below here so i'm cutting these something like this next step is to bend the branches around so the tree gets that three dimensional look it should have there's no need to worry about getting this just correct now because this can be adjusted in the final placing later now I'm also giving each branch the right look by bending it according to the picture below. This is the steel wire construction for the parade aspen. And this is the group type aspen. A bit more simple and sparsely placed branches. Now it's time to cover that steel wire and we're doing that with PVA B glue. I use a flat stiff brush to apply the glue onto the steel wire and the purpose with this first layer is to fix the steel wire and uh, fill out all of the crevices in between the steel wires. Now I've covered all of the tree with glue then it's time to add some magic scenery dust. This is really nothing else but sorted sand. I have a separate tutorial on that. I put the link up here so you can see that and how, how to make that. The purpose with this first layer of scenery dust is to add thickness to the branches and the trunk. Leave that to dry properly and then add another layer of PVA B glue. The purpose with this layer is more plastering than painting actually. So you want to get rid of those steel wire in the surface. 
Then again, add more cinder dust and let it all dry. I'm now adding a third layer of PVA glue in certain areas where I think it has become a bit too thin or the steel wire is still showing through. One typically needs to add thickness on the base of the trunk. Another advantage with the thick layer of glue on the base part of the trunk is that you can shape it with your fingers once it is semi-dry. So I use a hair dryer to avoid floating. Now is the time to mix some colors for the trunk and the branches. For this I use a titanium white and black acrylic colors. I'm starting off by mixing these two, the black and the white, to a gray, which uh, corresponds to the lightness of the trunk. The bark of the aspen tree is a greenish yellow gray per definition. So we're adding both green and primary yellow to this uh, gray mix to get a kind of, oh, I said a greenish yellow gray mix. Now I think that the result was a bit too cold, so I'm also adding a bit of brown, it's a raw umber here, uh, to the mix, so I get a more warm grayish tone. And then I think the color mix is satisfying and we can start painting the tree. So in this first layer I'm covering the entire tree, all of the branches and the trunk. For the next layer I'm adding also black, so I kind of dip the brush into black and I just dab that on so I get a kind of stainy look from the black. Wow, finally time to add the foliage. The foliage base is uh, polyfiber from Woodland Sanix FP178 and I fixed that with a fast set glue, a cyanoacrylate type glue. So I'm tearing off a piece of polyfiber here and a good rule of thumb is to think of the polyfiber as a spacer, not the actual foliage. So I'm covering each branch with a piece of polyfiber like this. When the glue has dried, I trim the polyfibers with a pair of scissors. All right, so with the polyfiber in place, it's time to put the leaves where they should be. Now, I did uh, before uh, my trees with spray glue. The spray glue gets everywhere except into uh, the places where I want it. <laughs> so I end up with spray glue everywhere. Uh, you can go outside and do the spraying outside, but here in Sweden it's like minus 10 in the winters and all dark, so it's, it's not so convenient. So I went over to hairspray, but hairspray is uh, it's not such a good adhesive really, so what happens is that the leaves are falling off after a while. Especially if you have like a module and transport it, it's not very convenient. So now I've, I've instead started to use um, uh, glue for um, a wallpaper. So it's a kind of white powder, uh, which you mix with water and uh, it expands and, and g gets into, transforms into uh, a, a transparent glue, which gets matte when it dries. So I spray the foliage with water. Foliage shouldn't be wet, just a, a, you know, it should be a mist over it. And then I sprinkle this uh, glue powder over the entire tree both underneath from from below and from the top and i add another i'm just misting some water on top of that glue so i i give it water enough to to expand and and get really transparent the result can look a bit worrying at this point Hey, is this guy modeling winter or what? No. Now it's time to add the foliage. I'm using a foliage from Noch. It's a 07154, which is middle green, middle green foliage. We don't want this to look too compact, so I'm just dropping the leaves from above and from below into the glue and uh, 
do not press or anything just leave it that way if it anyway looks a bit too dense or too opaque it's definitely possible to stretch the foliage slightly with a tweezer at this point as the last action i remove the leaves that got stuck to the trunk with a brush like this once dry it's time to put them on the layout All right, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please help others to find this video by giving it a thumbs up. If you got questions, uh, please post them in the comment field below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. If these videos helped you with your hobby, remember that all of this happens because a few of you support the channel. So if you want to be one of the good guys and keep the lights on here and the cameras rolling, sharing my passion with you, Go on to Patreon or make a one-off donation via PayPal on the link found below in the video description. Please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya!